Hey, and welcome back in the cockpit of the Viper. Um, part two is where we're going to talk about another little topic, which is pretty, um, pretty easy to um, to discuss. Basically, we're talking about uh, restrictions, restrictions in um, regular airspace, and I'm not going too deep into restrictions in military airspace because I'm not too familiar with that. But I believe, please let me know down in the comments if it's correct, that speed restrictions in military controlled airspace is 300 knots or 350 knots. I'm not too sure, unless you are um, cleared for um, cleared for overspeeding or are cleared for high speed. And um, please let me know down in the comments, maybe there's... Um, somebody of you who knows about the military restrictions, military airspace uh, control restrictions. I'm uh, more familiar with the, you know, regular airspace. And there we have a speed restriction of 250 knots below 10,000 feet. So we're talking about 2000 feet altitude and we're back into the topic. While we're looking down here at the altimeter, it's reading as in lesson before, the local QNH of 3097, unlike a QFE, which would be way lower in numbers of mercury of inches. Um, but I'm not planning to come back to Nellis Air Force Base. And even if I would, I, would, I know, okay, there's a local QNH and I have to figure it out with uh, a separation of 1800 feet roundabout, or like almost like 1900 feet. All right, whatever. The thing is, what I want to do today is talking about transition altitude and transition level and when to set what and when. All right, in the US, as I was saying that before, uh, transition altitudes most likely are set at 18,000 feet. And I'm talking about 18,000 feet as altitude and not as a flight level. So what is the difference? Everything above 18,000 feet at standardized uh, standardized um, pressure, which would be 2992 2 instead of the local QNH 3097 right now, is going to be a flight level. Why is that important? Because since we're talking about a height, not a height, an altitude above MSL, we are talking all about the same height because we are in standard pressurized airspace. Okay. So let's do that in action. Let's uh, bring up the Viper here and we're going to climb out and uh, climb straight to 18,000 feet. All right, let's do this real quick. Okay, we're closing in to the first deck. So what I'm talking about the first deck is 10,000 feet. So we have a speed restriction of 250 knots be uh, below 10,000 feet. Up above 10,000 feet, we can start to speed up. Okay, let's climb to 18,000 feet. Okay, we are still at 18,000 feet. As intended, we're still flying on the local QNH of 3097, right? So here we are at 18,000 feet. Now we get clearance to climb to flight level 250, for example. Let's see, is that correct? Yeah, that's even yeah, that's, that's even correct. Let's let's climb to flight level three, uh, 250, and we're going to do that at standard pressure 2992. So we're coming up to 2992 and you see we're at uh, 17,300 right now. And now we start introducing to climb to a flight level. We're not talking about altitude any longer. We're talking about flight levels. So right now my flight level 200 passing and climbing up to flight level 250. Well, let's make this a little uh, faster. Let's come down to flight level 230. All right. Roughly. 
fly level 230. So this is the difference between a local QNH and standard pressure 2992 or in hectopascals uh, one, uh, 1013, 1013 or 1013, there you go. And um, that's basically it for this little session. I wanted to show you um, what is a transition altitude and what are you going to do while you're flying above the transition altitude here in the US. It is 18,000 feet. And uh, the other thing is by ATC given, there will always be um, a transition level which is, you can calculate the uh, transition level, but it's most of the time given by ATC. Let's assume it is going to be 18,000 on this one here too, which is not correct because we are coming from a flight level and we are passing through. So ATC will give us a local QNH again while we are passing through 18,000 or flight level 180 because we're coming from flight level 230 right now. We are descending and we are descending to another flight level while we are still staying on standard pressure 299 or 2. Okay, hope that makes sense. Meaning if we come down and we are about to pass 18,000 feet or flight level 180 in that case on pressure, on standard pressure, Yep, coming down. There's 19,000. And now let's bring her up again. There we go. So we're roughly at 18,000 feet right now. A little low. 300 feet too low. And ATC would give us a local QNH for um, everything below flight level 180 as in altitude. Meaning, we would, from that point on, switch back to the local QNH, which was 30907, which would be given by ATC. 30, 907, gonna dial that in. And now we start descending in altitude. So whatever we, we uh, descend now is not going to be in flight level any longer, it is going to be in altitude. So we're coming down here, and right now we are at altitude 16,000 feet, for example. All right, so I hope that help was informative to you guys, and uh, you can uh, learn a little bit more about how to fly, and how to fly um, more accurate and more like in real life. And I'm gonna see you in the uh, next little video about the topic with... Uh, mental math, where we are going to uh, calculate some, uh, some little stuff for approaches, for top of descents and all that stuff that you surely can do also in a fighter jet, not only in a plane like an Airbus or a Cessna. Alright guys, see you there and uh, happy flying as always.